Hey guys, Niagara TFP here. Wait a second. I'm dead TFP, but I'm with Niagara TFP. Where's I'm not TFP? Can you guess what I'm showing to you? Uh, I think everyone knows that's uh, the Empire State Building. It's not the Empire State Building. Uh, it's the Willis Tower? No. Oh, there, I can see it better. It's the Statue of Liberty. But, so here's the Empire State Building. Empire State Building. I'm pretty sure that's not to scale. Are you sure it's to scale? Because the Statue of Liberty isn't that big. That would be crazy. What's up next? Oh, that is called, what's it called? World Trades? One World Trade Center. One World Trade Center. Oh, and there's the old Twin Towers. Very beautiful building. Then we have some other amazing ones. We have the Rockefeller Center. And then last but not least, the Chrysler Building, which at one point was the tallest building in the world for probably about a year because it was made right before the Empire State Building was completed. Can you guess what this is? I think we're about to see... That's right! The New York 4D Cityscape Puzzle. Yes, we actually made this in 2019. Like late 2019, I got this as a Christmas gift, but then, and then I actually made it, but then it got stored, and then I, and then today actually I, I started to, I decided to rebuild the old cityscape puzzle. Yeah, we have so many cityscape puzzles. That this is like the pretty cool. Uh, these are very amazing puzzle sets, right? Yes, I'm. I'm doing some, some stuff here. Anyways, what do you think of New York? I mean, New York is a pretty awesome city, and guess what? The whole TFP family got to visit there in 2019. Yes, that's why I got this model in 2019. And we spent, I think, probably five nights there, or six days, something like that. It was a lot of fun. And probably one of our favorite parts was the Empire State Building was very cool. And that's the, let's see, that's the Brooklyn Bridge, is that right? Yes. That one's cool. Anyways, before we show the actual model, let's, let's show you what's inside the box. So this is the front, this is the side, this is the back. It's basically just the same thing as, as the other 40 city puzzles. So if you want to see these, models then then you go to the playlist on how to make these not on how to make them but just reviews on these other cityscape puzzles yeah that's a great idea also don't forget that to keep me your favorite model the statue of liberty yep it's uh, pretty awesome yes you can see that video anyways here's the back you can see this is one two and then that's that you can see there's the Empire State Building. Very cool. And you can see some cool stuff here. Yeah, the there's the Brooklyn Bridge. And if Empire I remember State right, this was the first 3D 4D puzzle we we completed, and that first stage of the puzzle of the old time city was pretty hard. Yes, this was uh, this was the first time we actually did a 4D cityscape puzzle because. Remember, I showed you the, because, you remember, I actually made this in 2019, but then I decided to rebuild it because it was stored for a long time. So I decided to rebuild this escape puzzle. Yep, very cool. Anyways, there's, there's nothing on the other side. So. Anyways, I'll show you what's in the box. To, and also, because this is in 2019, we, did, we don't have a stop motion on this one. So this one's the only one that doesn't have a stop motion video. I don't know if this is actually part of the CDC puzzle, but but the, we have this map of New York. Oh, that is pretty cool. Can you look at this Empire State Building? Yeah, Empire State Building is awesome. Central Park's cool. Trade What's that? There's a uh, Wall Street. Yeah, Financial District. Wall Street's there. Can you say about Wall Street? Wall Street is the financial center of probably the world, but. Mm, don't forget, there's a, there's a financial one in London. That's another very important one. So I think uh, 
There's, you know, two of the top financial centers in the whole world are New York and London. Anyways, here is the World World Trade Center. Look, the Statue of Liberty. Aww, the Statue of Liberty is pretty cool. Is it, does it look weird because Central Park in this map isn't central? Interesting. Also on this map, something weird is that Central Park's not in the center. So, actually in the real map, it's actually in the center. So, so the top part of the island goes like, goes like what my hands are doing. It goes up here, like in, like that's the upper part. And there's here's the map. You can see how Central Park's not in the center. Yeah, I mean, they had to make the map, uh, they had to adjust the map to make it easy to make a puzzle. But yeah, I guess I kind of don't like how it's not really laid out perfectly. Anyways, you can see most of the things right here. Look, should I look for the Empire State Building? It's, it's that one in the very middle. Very cool. Well, there it's, you a, go. it's one that says 28 on it. Yeah, yeah, that one's cool. We walk by there a lot. Oh, was there the, um, what was that, uh, the Angley building? What was that called? Like what do you mean the one? Like a triangle. Is it? I think that's a, the, the Trump Tower. Another Trump Tower. And what was the one that we uh, that we walked by a lot? That was kind of cool. I don't know what you mean there. It's kind of like shaped like a wedge. I don't really know what that building is called. Oh, sorry. And oh, don't say what it is. So. Okay, sounds good. So, I love here, it. so what else we got? So this <clears> is <throat> what the the old map looks like. Well, see that? There's no Liberty Island. Liberty. Yeah, that's right. Because this is from a map from the starting in the 1700s. So back, I'm not sure when they changed the name to New York, but for a while there, I think it was called New Amsterdam. Is that right? I think that it's it was New Amsterdam. And then what's that cool Broadway's on here, right? It's just there's still Broadway. Yeah, so Broadway was an important street, even you know like. Oh, you know, hundreds of years ago, 300 years ago, there was uh, There's Wall Street. And they called it Wall Street because there was a big wall there. Look, there's, there used to be a collect pond here. A what? What? A collect pond. Do you see in the middle? Oh, yeah. That's cool. You can see this. It's basically just wool in this area. New York, 1700s. In the 1700s. Can you, just, can you guess why the name here is on a lake? I don't know why. If you look at the modern, if you look at the modern map, you notice. Oh, they have a name for it now, yeah. If you if you look here, you can see that the, the island's a little smaller. Well, if you look at the modern map, it's kind of wider. So they so this <clears throat> so they added like a new lane here. Yeah, I think I've heard that before. So they actually used uh, they they kind of used uh, trash and garbage, and they kind of built up more of the island. Very cool. This used to be Blackwell's Island. Oh, and now it's called Roosevelt Island, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Named after President mm, FDR, I think, right? FDR. Anyways, let's show you the poster. Alright, so that's pretty cool. This is one of the coolest part of these 40 puzzles is you see all these buildings over time and so you can kind of see how the city grew. Alright, so what do we got? Some cool buildings. 1911. Like there's Empire State Building. There's Metropolitan Life Tower. There's... That's a cool one too. There's Brooklyn Bridge. Statue of Liberty. Guggenheim Museum. I was thinking of making a video. Maybe you could make a video on that Lego set because it's a really awesome Lego set. Yeah. There's the there's World Trade Center. There's a, the original World Trade Center. Guess why, guess why there's a twice? I don't know. Very cool. Can you, can you, can you guess why there's one here? Because that's September 11th and they got destroyed, huh? That's kind of sad. I tell you, the Bank of America Tower, that one's pretty cool today, what, right? What's the Bank that's, of America? Uh, in 2009, they made the Bank of America Tower, and that's the one when we were in New York. We kind of saw that one a lot, right? I didn't know that building. I think that's the one with, like, it had, like, the green lights on the antenna. Here's a... This, this building isn't actually <clears throat> built yet. It looks like a diamond. Ooh, that's cool. Also, in here it says 2020, but, but currently there's not actually a building there called Two World Trade Center. Now, were they building it when we were there in 2019? I forget. I mean, they were, they were not actually building it. They, they were just showing an event. 
foundations. Ah, uh, okay, good. So, adult, so adult, I think they're actually gonna make it to World Trade Center. All right. How about some of the first buildings? What's the one on the upper left? New what York is City Hall. Oh, that is so cool. Federal Hall. Love That's beautiful. Federal Hall. We walked. We walked. Uh, we got pictures in front of that. That was cool. Can you guess what it looks like? It kind of looks like a. Uh, I don't know. Pantheon, the Capitol Building, something like that. Anyways. Yeah. Metropolitan Museum of Art, that's another beautiful looking building. I think we walked by that one. That's by Central Park, right? This is the uh, Rockefeller Center. For some reason in here it's called GA Building, but it's now called the Rockefeller Center. Well, I'll explain that because General Electric uh, owned the Rockefeller Center for a while. And then it's, it now says Comcast on it. Yeah, that's right. I actually made a 3D print model which shows the NBC logo on it. Cool. But there's a... The United Nations building, if I can find it. There you go. Look, there's the United Nations building. That's awesome. Yeah, we thought about visiting that one, but it was kind of like in a, a little uh, ways away, and I think they were closed when we were thinking about visiting it. And so we're like, eh, if we can't go inside. It's probably not worth seeing, right? And I think the same thing with the Guggenheim Museum. We drove by the Guggenheim Museum, but... I mean, I didn't really know about the Guggenheim Museum being part of it, too. Anyways, here is a thing. And there's instructions. Is it instructions? Instructions. What did I say? Construction? Whoops, sorry. Anyways, here's a, the layout. And then you put full size tape on there. And then that's what it looks like. Yeah, very cool. So now that you had a chance to work on all of these awesome 40 cities, which one do you think was your favorite? I don't know which is my favorite. Maybe New York because it's like my, my favorite, or maybe Chicago because it has the Willis Tower in it. Yeah, I drew this actually living in there because it wasn't, it's not there in the picture. Oh, cool. <laughs> it's in here too. You can see that this is from 2019, so there's no stop motion thing. Here, I assume. I think this is the World Financial Center. All right, so these are the, uh, the pieces that are removed as you're putting in the buildings, right? Yes, so we're going to put this back together and show you the actual model. All right, hurry up there. Everyone's excited to see it. They go to New York. Look, there's Empire State Building. I was impressed on how cool the Empire State Building is, right? It's so beautiful. All right, let's go. Anyways, let's show you the actual New York puzzle. Uh, I think those are just the old World Trade Center. You need to show the whole puzzle. Everyone's waiting to see it. Come on. There you go. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, there's the... Yeah, it's, hard, it's hard to see the whole thing. That looks pretty good, though. I'm going to... I need to move the whole thing so we can see all of it. So anyways, we're going to show you a cool... 360 view, while the FTP talks more about like the history of New York. So one thing cool when you visit New York is when you're on the top of the Empire State Building, you can see the One World Trade Center and vice versa. And then uh, a place that's you know not a very popular tourist attraction, but you can actually walk on top of Rockefeller Center, and that was a pretty awesome view right there, right? That was kind of cool because it's completely open air on the top of this super tall building. It's still pretty tall, right? Yeah. Um, can you guess why I'm showing it like this? Oh, that's the view from... Uh, that's kind of how you see it when you're... Uh, on the uh, One World Trade Center. That's kind of how it looks. Um, this, what I was saying is that this is like the north to south view. Like if you're viewing it on like Google Maps, and if you and if it's like north to south, this is what the island looks like. Yeah. This is the east side. Yeah. Yeah, to be going to talk more about New York. And so Central Park is really cool in New York, and it's what well, it makes it. Interesting is that when you walk around Manhattan, there's so many buildings, so much sidewalk. It doesn't seem like a lot of greenery. And then you got this gigantic, beautiful green park in Central Park where they have uh, like lakes or ponds and lots of grass and stone. I mean, it's very, uh, very nice. Anyways, while I show you this side, this is the 
I don't know if you know this, but but if you look at the original one, you can see you can see in here it looks like there are very few skyscrapers in here. There's in here it seems like it's only like 25% completed and the rest are nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you look now, it's basically almost all finished. That's right. So so you can see that I developed really fast. And and you can see uh, and you can actually see that they are actually going to make a grid system. Yeah, that's kinda cool how uh, that's what makes uh, New York and then Chicago cool is that it's kind of built on a grid versus the other 40 cityscapes in other cities around the world where they're kind of just like the roads aren't um, they kind of just want meander one way or the other and it's just like not really that's the same with the, the other American cities also use a grid system yeah that's kind of cool oh and I think really cool when we fly when you fly into New York you know, even us coming from a big city like Chicagoland, where, you know, we got a lot of skyscrapers and a lot of downtown, and it's really cool, but when you're in a plane and you see New York for the first time, it's like, oh my god, now that is sky that's skyscrapers, there's skyscrapers everywhere, right? Yes, when we were going home from our long trip, we were actually going to, we were, we were going to just go to New York Airport, because there were no direct flights, so, and then we actually looked at New York and the Rome of Trade Center and the Empire State Building. I also saw a Statue of Liberty, but I couldn't really take a picture. Yeah, it was a kind of, like, kind of cloudy that day, right? No, it was not cloudy at all. It looked pretty normal. Oh. You know, I think my seat was in the middle or something. I couldn't really see anything, so... Anyways, uh, something really cool about these history puzzles is that it looks like you're viewing it from an airplane. For sure. Hey, can you... What is this building? That one looks kind of cool. I don't know what that building's called. Very cool. Anyways, can you guess what's missing here? Yep, the World Trade Center 1 and 2 aren't there, but they have a uh, beautiful reflecting uh, like fountain or pools inside it. And so that was very, uh, very touching to see that they have uh, can you guess what I'm doing? pools in honor of the people who lost their lives on 9-11. I put the... What do you think of that? The Twin Towers oh, and the Rumble Trade Center at, at, at the same time. That's cool. And I'm glad they didn't build on the site of the original towers because it's nice to have a memorial there. And they actually have a tree that was that's still standing from before 9-11, which is amazing to think uh, that tree was able to withstand the, the towers coming down. Um, also, I have a thing where, speaking of 9-11, I have a, for the 21st anniversary of 9-11, I made a, this video showing the, making a, it's a little uh, thing where it says, never forget 9-11 on one side and it shows like the, the Pentagon on the other side. Oh, that's very touching. So, so we're going to, so if you want to see that, you can look at it in the card. Anyways, there is that puzzle. So we're going to show you it in the cool view. Anyways, there you go. All right, very cool video. Thanks for watching. There you go. Thanks for watching. Bye.